cut the corn. The knife goes through and the knife cuts through as we get together and cut the corn. It's the same job that we used to do. We built the 48 states that way with a sunny day and a stormy day and the neighbors working to build them through. are cutting, the load piles high, the sun beats down from the August sky. We built our freedom and strength this way, from Mississippi to Iowa, from Oregon to the rocks of Maine, we're building it still together. get together we're hard to stop we can raise the crop and harvest the crop we can get the power and get the light we can get the things that we want today with neighbors working the self same way working together to cut the corn Now they talk it over, the country way, the slow, cautious decision of the people. Electricity, about time we got around here. Well, it sure would help me out, and the woman too. But the power company says, you can see their lines go cross country, see them in the sky, but they don't bring the power down to the farm. Say it costs too much, say a lot of things. I'd sure like to light up the barn and the house, too. Running water. Ellen's always saying, if we had running water, power company won't do it. But I hear there's a new kind of power, government. That's right. I hear there's an agency, rural electrification. Well, now, how do you go about it? I, I ain't for it, but I'm ready to be convinced. I'm for it if it gets us the power. Uh, why don't we get a meeting? A meeting and hear about it, find out about it. Don't have to take it unless we want, but find out about it. Government power for our farms. One night in the district schoolhouse, Bill Parkinson's neighbors get together. They listen and argue and ask questions. They speak their mind. Some are not easy to convince. What's it going to cost? Who's going to run it? Why is the government doing it? Who's going to own the lines? The county agent meets them on their own ground. The REA was set up by the president and the Congress in 1935 to help farmers to get the power and light at a price they can afford. The REA loans money at low interest rates for line construction and where necessary for generating plants to the cooperative set up by the farmers in the community. There are no private investors, no profit making. You don't risk any cash yourself except a small membership fee. You get power at cost. When the loan from the government to your cooperative is paid back through your electric bills, you and your neighbors will own your own electric system, your own lines. In 1935, REA is born. 90% of all American farms without light or power. The cities are lighted, the country still in the dark. Lights up, 1936, 26 REA systems, 7,500 farm families like Bill Parkinson's get light. 1937, lights up. There are 122 systems now, power and light for 43,000 farm families. Lights up for Mississippi and Ohio. Lights up north, south, east, west. 
1939, 548 systems, 435,000 families and other users, and many more soon to come on the lines. Lights up, 600 systems operating in early 1940, spreading their wires over 45 states. Well over half a million farms, schools, churches, stores, and rural industrial plants getting electric service for the first time. 300,000 more expected to come on these lines, and new lines going up almost everywhere at the rate of 500 miles a day. The city, the place that always had power. Now, wires swing out to the country. They're stretching out, long wires reaching out where wires never went before. There's a tune as the wind blows through the wires. Power for the Parkinson's. They're lifting the pole. Back in revolutionary days in this country, we used to plant a pole and call it a liberty tree. This pole has been a liberty tree to thousands of farm families. Hoist up the transformer. It means kilowatt hours of electricity. One kilowatt hour will do a week's wash, or grind 100 pounds of grain. One kilowatt hour will hoist two tons of hay. Kilowatt hours don't get tired. Parkinson is now a member of the Belmont Electric Cooperative. I didn't know a stove could look as clean as that. Looks as if it would bake good, too. Thursday, August the 8th, 1940, southwestern Ohio. Scattered showers and thunderstorms tonight and Friday. Cooler Friday afternoon and night, much cooler and...